hi guys welcome to my channel this is the great tech okay in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to fix a mobile phone that is experiencing a full shot caused by a diode so if you're coming across this channel for the first time consider subscribing because in this channel we bring forth educative informative electronic and telecommunication gadget repair videos so in this today's video i'm going to be showing you a pure informative video okay so i'm going to be using this logic board as an experiment to check where the shot is coming from the full shot okay so i noticed initially once you plug in a charger the charger light will go off so i'm going to be showing you guys again so immediately i plug in the charger notice the charger light just notice the charger light okay the indicator light there uh now the light is off because immediately i plug in the charger the light will go off so this as a result of a short circuit on the logic board okay so i'm going to be looking for where the short circuit is coming from so i'm going to troubleshoot this logic board to know where the fault is coming from okay so quickly don't skip any part of this video stay tuned to the end of this video to understand the procedure okay so i'm going to be plugging it again for you to see as you can see the charger light is off as i remove it the charger light came back okay so quick i'm going to use my multimeter to detect um and troubleshoot the faults from the logic board okay so first of all i'm going to be plugging the charger and i will check if there's any current coming to the battery terminal okay so that's the first thing i'm going to be doing right now so i've set my multimeter at 20 direct current voltage okay that is the sign for direct current voltage so i'm going to be using it to check the v bat okay which is a positive terminal of the charging port so i've grounded um my black probe okay it's grounded already now i'm using my red probe to check that is the ground and this is the positive terminal okay there's no sign of any voltage coming to that terminal that is to show that is a full shot okay that's uh, as a result of a full shot because if it's a partial shot you will notice some kind of little um voltage passion through it but so now i'm going to be troubleshooting this logic board to see where the fault is coming from okay so most time the causes of this fault is maybe the capacitor or the diode okay so but i'm going or sometimes um some the some ic's okay but today um that is an integrated circuit okay that is the meaning of ic so i'm going to be checking all these components close to the charging ports to see where um the fault is actually coming from okay so um these are some of the components here we have the diode the capacitor there okay secondly i'm going to be testing the v bus to check if the v bus is the positive terminal of the charging port to see if there's a voltage coming to that side okay so that is the next thing i'm going to be doing i've already tested um the v bat to check if there's any voltage coming there but there's none okay so i'm going to be checking the charging port section okay to see if there's any voltage coming to that um place because sometimes there will be a voltage around that area why the voltage won't be reaching the charge um the battery terminal that is to show that is not from the charging section okay but today i'm going to be checking it so first of all i'm going to check the v bus which is the positive terminal of the charging ports to see if there's any voltage um coming to that place okay so that is the v bus okay the positive terminal of the charging port so i'm using my multimeter for troubleshooting okay so i've already set my multimeter at 20 direct current voltage okay so once i've done that um the, that is designed for direct current voltage okay so i'm going to be grounding um the black probe to the ground and then the 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 positive terminal that is the um the, the red probe i'll be ground um connecting it to the v bus okay that is what i'll be doing for but then i'll plug in my charger which um I'll, i'm plugging in my charger right now once i plug in my charger that's when i'll be testing the voltage okay because you can't test voltage when there's no voltage going into it so once i plug in remember the voltage um the charger light is switched off okay that is there's that is a sign of there's no current going into the logic board but i still want to test it okay so now let's check if there's any kind of voltage coming to the um the charging section okay once i've grounded my um grounded my black probe okay i move further to check the v bus and as you can see there's a little amount of voltage coming there which is just 1.4 volt this voltage is very very low the accurate voltage that's supposed to be reaching there is like 5 volts it's supposed to be 5 volts but 
the voltage there is very 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 low it can't charge it can't even charge the mobile phone okay so i'm going to check this other side to see if it's as a result of a broken connection that is an open circuit to see if there's any voltage coming to that area so as you can see there's no voltage okay um i got one so it's just fluctuating okay so it's fluctuating so actually there's no accurate the voltage is not even consistent it's not even constant okay it's just fluctuating so that is to show that the shot is very very powerful the short circuit the component that is faulty uh, um, is has caused a big damage to the logic board so i plug out my charger and i set my multimeter to the diode mode okay to check and troubleshoot where the shot is actually coming from so i'll be troubleshooting to check if it's from the capacitor or is from any of these components um, close to the charging port because i told you initially either the capacitor or the diode will be causing the shot and this is the diode also okay that is the diode that black component right there is the diode okay so we have the diode right there that is a diode and also as you can see that is the diode and also we have capacitor also there so i'm going to be checking all those components to see if i would know where the fault is coming from so this is a continuity mode i've already set my multimeter as the continuity mode okay so once i'm done with that i'm going to be checking um the logic board to know where the fault is coming from so if you are watching my video for the first time i have not joined my vip group on my whatsapp you are missing a lot you need to join there my group to know more about electronic and know how to repair mobile gadgets at ease so first of all i've checked my capacitor okay the capacitor is giving a proper reading okay that is a good reading it's not short circuiting okay now i'll be checking other um components and let me check the second capacitor there that is the that is another capacitor right there so let me check that capacitor to see if um it's experiencing any shots at all so now i've connected it and there's no shots there's no shots is the capacitor are reading the, res um, the resistance of the capacitors are reading okay the capacitance are okay so now i'm going to be checking the diode that is the next thing i'm going to be checking to see if the fault is from there so reading the diode is a bit different okay so you need to know the polarity of the diode that is the positive and negative terminal of that diode if you want to read a diode so i already know the positive and negative terminal of this diode and if you want to learn more about that you can join my vip class okay so i'm going to put my positive probe at the positive terminal of the diode and my negative probe at the negative terminal of the diode to see if it will read properly or it will give me a sign of short circuit okay so let me try reading the diode right now so i've already set my multimeter the diode mode okay so um i think i got the fault this is 40 it's giving me 1.2 that diode is 40 it's even giving me 0 0.9 so that diode is very very faulty so i'm going to be replacing that diode now to see if this mobile phone is going to start um is going to work like start working and start charging okay i'm going to remove that um diode so i'm going to speed up this video um removing the diode so it won't take much of the time watching so i pl apply my paste and my heat okay so i'm going to be removing the diode very very fast okay so i'm still heating out the diode so actually you can join my vip class my number is the number showing on your screen okay don't forget to subscribe to this channel to give this video a thumbs up if this video is helpful so i've successfully removed the diode so i'll be replacing this diode with um a diode that is the same as that particular diode that i removed that is faulty okay so i'll be replacing that diode um with another diode okay so to see if it will work and as you can see you see notice that there is a kind of bond um sign on the logic board okay that is to show that maybe that diode experienced some high voltage and got bond so i'm replacing with that diode i just show you okay so i'm replacing i've already removed that diode from that logic board okay i've removed it as you can see i've removed it already that is that that is the diode okay so i'm going to be replacing it immediately so let me do away with this 41 okay once i'm done doing away with it let me replace this um this um good one okay i've already tested it already it's working perfectly so i'm going to be replacing it immediately to see if it will start working i've already replaced it i speed up i will speed up this video i'll replace it very fast so i'll skip some part of this video okay is i've replaced it already so the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be brushing out um the logic board with some um ethanol okay to clean out um the mess there 
okay which are those paste okay so now let me notice as you can see observe the light to see if it will still go off okay because we are doing a practical life experiment okay so let me plug in the charger as uh plug in sorry let me plug in i'm just doing this for you to see the work work out of this video okay so now i've plug in as you can see the light is still showing to show that this mobile phone now maybe is charging okay but that is not a full conclusion okay we still need, used, need to use our multimeter to read it okay to see if the voltage now is properly distributing to the battery terminal and to the logic board okay now i've grounded my negative probe and that is the ground no this is the see is charging is distributing 4.9 4.09 volts so it's good to charge the battery okay this is the v bus that is the positive terminal of the charging port so let me check it now now it's supposed to be giving me like 5 volt let me check like here 5.1 5.03 yeah it's okay now the mobile phone will be charging so but for you to still confirm let's still couple i've coupled the board on the logic um on the phone okay i've coupled it already so i'm going to be showing you connecting i've coupled it let me couple the mobile phone and plug in the um the battery to see if it will charge okay if it will charge okay so i'm going to be checking it so let's go this i'm connecting the battery now so if you have not joined my vip class do well to join it okay you will learn a lot from there you get a chance to have my direct contact and chat me up anytime you have any question so i've plugged in the charger let's see okay it's coming up it to charge we'll pray it's charge okay as you can see it's charging okay it's charging 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 four percent so thank you very much guys for watching please give this video a thumbs up comment below like this video if you love it till next time bye bye